Hey there, guys. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing that this way. Yellow one. Hey. All right. The game does not like me all since I've been. <laughs> This is... See if this works.
Osten. Ah, oh. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I must have added. I must have added enough capture on. Yeah, I did. I Let's see if this is working now, guys. Hey. 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 <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, so yeah, thank, yeah, thanks for being so busy and you know, I was being so for three months. Thanks very much for that. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a couple of new things uh, on, on the stream as well. Changed up a little bit. Um, got evil promo there. Uh, you can make him talk and do all, all kinds of stuff, but it costs a bit. And the stickers now, the music's loud. Nothing I can do without that other than turning off. Yeah. And turn down audio on the actual desktop if that. Any better? But than that, it's just turning that completely off. Is that better? Will do. Okay. Tell you what, I'll turn it down a little bit more. And there you go. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, the stickers that you can uh, play with, um, uh, again, some of them cost bits, some of them are free and stuff like that. Uh, there's also... Um, audience things where you can throw stuff on the screen as well so those are little things that you can interact with pretty sure oh it is yeah uh, and also like um actually if you if you're watching it um uh, sometimes you'll see a little uh symbol pop up you can like pick a card, do scratches to like earn points and stuff like that. Are they all one bit? Are they? Yeah, I, I did say that. Yeah, took me ages to set them uh, stickers up. <laughs> I'll try and make some. Do you know what? I'll what I'll do is I'll um I will try and get some of them to like free. I'm not gonna do it right now. There's no free ones. I'm swear there's free ones. I'll do I'll do like um like random randomly do like twenty or thirty stickers for free then tomorrow to make sure on that. So if that's not right, Elon's probably is correct. I'll sort that out tomorrow. Let's get on with the game now. Right then, okay, so right. And now the cashlessness where it opens the stream. Right, so Okay, we're so tonight we're playing Agatha Knife. This is a point and click puzzle game. Um, this guy's kind of kind of, kind of horror, horror, horror bit. Is it a browser game? I don't I don't know whether it was a browser game. Um, it's on Steam. 
I saw this is me, Agatha. Seven years old, and I can't sleep. My mum has a butcher's shop. And I really like animals. So at night, I go to the butchers to talk and play with them. Later, I kill and carve them up. <laughs> Just as you do, you know what I mean. So my mum can sell their meat the next day. I love being the town butcher. Because I can... I can be close to the animals and their meat. <laughs> Lamb chops, sirloin steaks, pork loin, chicken thighs. I love eating meat, but I feel bad when I see my friends, the animals, scared of me when they see my knives. It makes me sad. That's not all. I've got another problem. Lately, we haven't had many customers. My mum is getting worried. Yes, that if things don't get better, we'll have to close the shop. I need to think of something. Or I won't be able to play with the animals anymore. I'll have to give up eating meat. Today, my mum is going to church to pray. Yes, it might help things get better. I'm going to go with it. Uh, to see what it's like. Maybe it will help me think of a solution to my problems. This is rubbish. Uh, yeah, you might be thinking, why is it browser game? Because I've got it in windowed mode. It was, the, it was the only way it would stream this game. It kept on just like kind of like drinking down when I had it on full screen. So that's why you think it was a browser game. <laughs> uh, well, this is so boring. I'm going to take a look around. Okay. But if you leave the church, don't go too far. Let's see what's around here. So, like I said, it's Point and click adventure game. So as you can see, we can look at them. Little oldies, looks like the, the shouting relaxes them. <laughs> we can talk to them. Hello? Hello, young lady. Never seen you around here before. Your first time here? Yeah. I thought this religion thing would be more interesting. But so far, it's horrendously boring. That's because you don't know Reverend Bleak's story. Uh, oh, you Reverend Bleak. Yeah, and I won't stop shouting. Yeah. No, I've never heard the story. I don't like it when people shout when explaining things. So perhaps you could tell me his story. It's a fantastic story. Reverend Bleak, I'm Lord's Messenger. Travel through a time portal, an infinite amount of numbers an infinite number of times and every time he comes back from one of his journeys he brings us some cheese and a new threat from our lord does he bring back cheese from every journey oh so these are questions i can ask the lord sends you threat i'm going to let them listen to the reverend oh, 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 oh that cheese yes Yeah, if you if you want to browse a the you go back to the bottom. The stickers are there, and um, also the um, stream attack thing and everything else is is down at the bottom. Uh, if you want a mobile, I think it's up at the top, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, and like I said, you can you can um, you can use your channel points to get stuff from the viewer attack. Maybe that's why I was a bit confused, maybe. Um, with the three things, with the three stickers. Maybe it was them that I was thinking of. I mean, technically, they're not free. Well, I mean, they are, because you just have to watch. Uh, but if we, if we buy cheese, nothing else will happen. Are they not coming up? I don't see them.
Could be there. See it on my screen. See it on the stream, but I don't know about the. Let me see if I can do one myself. Oh, so it's coming up demolit. Ah. Yeah, that shouldn't be doing that. So I've just redeemed it myself, Dan. They shouldn't come up them alerts. That that should come up something completely different. I'll have to look into that. Sorry about that, guys. This is all new, so not too sure why that is coming up them alert. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's definitely that's a bit weird how they're coming up them alerts. Maybe the yeah, true, yeah. It's all well. These are new, um, so I'll have to figure that out I, after the stream and um, try and attack myself to see what's happening because yeah, it definitely shouldn't come up them because they're just like normal alerts, unless they're counteracting each other. I'm not too sure. Uh, but if we buy cheese, so yeah, don't use any bits on them then, because <laughs> you're just wasting your money. Just you, if you want to channel points, but there's no point in that if they're not going to pop up for you guys. I will get, I will sort that out. If we buy cheese, nothing will happen to us. Loads will pardon us. The Reverend will be able to pay the toll when he passes through the time portal, and we'll learn a, learn a new life when we die. We don't buy cheese. We won't be resurrected, but can I? What do you mean, cheese is a guy literally gamming them or something like that? Did you see that the leads, the Lord sent you threats? Yeah, that's right. We, we can all make a mistake, and the Time Lord knows. He can't forgive us just out of the kindness of his heart. We have to pay for our sins. That's why he sent us the cheese. Strange story. I'm not sure what to think of that story. It doesn't make much sense. I have to believe in something, my dear. We're a couple of oldies who, whom life is coming to an end. We don't want to spend our last few days in a spiral of agony. Hoping that we are going to despair forever. We came here looking for some inner peace. And Reverend Bleak gives it to us. Although, first we have to buy cheese, of course. And by the way, you'd also buy cheese. But the Time Lord will forgive you for not believing in him. I don't see the point in that. I a piece of cheese isn't going to make me believe that story. Nonsense. Take this money. Buy a candle from the faith dispenser over there and light it for the Time Lord. He'll definitely forgive you then. Do it for me. Well, if it makes you feel better. Yeah, it, if you wouldn't mind. Here you go. Got some money. Hope the Time Lord lights up your life with his threats. Yeah, whatever you say. Put the money in my bag. If you want to use it, take a look at other things I'm doing. If you have it in my bag, just pat my head. Okay, this is my bag. Full of things uh, which I always carry with me, like my keys and USB memory stick, which is <laughs> so cute with a little pig on it. <laughs> uh, we get overwhelmed. We need a rest. We go back to the main menu using the key. Okay, if you want to save, use the memory stick. That's so clever. Although, when we enter a new place, we'll automatically save, okay? Although, oh, before I forget, you want, I can talk like this. No, 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 we'll just use it. No, I don't, I don't want that. I know, no, I don't want it. I can't even read it. What? Yeah, no, that, 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 that one. God damn it. Don't worry if you want Yeah, I try and read that. If you want to change later, go back to the main menu. No, we'll never be changing back. Ever. <laughs> if everything we collect will go in my bag. Use the things we collect is easy. For example, if you want to give the money to somebody or use it for something, please come here, select it, and go back outside. The leave just touch my head again. Uh, and choose the person you want to give it to or the things that you want to use it with, and I'll take care of the rest. Easy, right? Okay, let's get on with it. Okay. Why is he going to save? Shouting at everything, that's our fault. 
Now then, thoughts about the Chi Saviour. What a pantomime. If I can do it on the fly, do an attack on figure. See if this is the same thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. What does it say? Select that, okay. Do that. Run that, okay. Do that. Yeah, okay, that's that's all set up. Oh right, we're just gonna test the tomato on the stream. That's let me do it. Right, hold on a minute. Mine did it. But yours is not doing it. Are you ready to go? Right, so if that's working on my end, it's got to be something to do with the alerts, the actual alerts on Twitch. It's is it's something quickly go on alert. Edit alerts. yeah it it's the thing is that's the thing isn't it when when you add the new stuff to the stream afraid of it not working that's the thing oh i can see the points that user actually redeeming why Okay, that. Oh. 
Right. I don't know if that's helped it or not. Okay. Try this now. Let's. Same thing. Same thing. All right. I'll have to leave that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's working on my end with the extension. And you've just seen it then. The tomato will get thrown on, on it. But on your end, it's not working. It's it's interfering with the other alerts. So I'll have to see how to fix that. Um, so, yeah. At the moment, just don't, yeah, just don't do use the viewer attack. All the other things should work though. Um, so yeah, tell you what to make to make up for it. What I'll do you now. To make up for it, all stickers are now free for this rest of the stream. The only thing that's not free is Chrono, Evil Chrono, because I can't make that for free. But so all stickers, as from now until the end of the stream, are absolutely for free to make up for that uh, not working. What I'll do, so no one can use that, I'll actually deactivate the viewer attack. So, <laughs> I like, yeah, straight away, hello one's on the stick and said, they're free? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, you guys, let's get uh, back to that. Don't say I'm not nice. <laughs> right then, guys. You enjoy your stickers for the rest of the streams. Uh, I want to interrupt the speech. Okay, okay, okay. So he's conning these guys, we reckon. You know, mum's deep in prayers there, isn't she? What? Oh, what's there is cheese as well. Uh, I don't know what we're doing here. I wonder if my mum believes about this cheese. I'm going to cheer up. Hey, mum. Hey, I I how to use them. Um stickers. So again it'd be on a browser and then um if you go right down, if not I think it's up at the top on the mobile. Um Hello and probably wouldn't know more because she's using them all the time. Hello and we help cashlessness to find uh, how tell them how to use them stickers. With a little quick quick description. They're the, they're the point. Um, like I said, if you go to the browser itself, go all the way down, there's, there is like a sticker thing. Uh, if you're on the mobile, yeah, if you're on the mobile, I think they're at the top. I'm not too sure if that right or lower. This is doing very well, so I thought we could go to the church and pray. See if that helps, pray. What's that? You'd like to keep working on the butchers, right? Yeah, of course. Well, think about that really hard. Maybe it will help bring our customers back. Okay, I wonder if I won't believe it's about the cheese guy. There's a green box where Pando usually is, and there are stickers on it. You've done it. Ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yee! <laughs> Thanks, hello, win for the help. On to the rescue. 
So all the stickers there, even the custom ones I've made, like blood and sweat, to absolutely free for the rest of the stream. The only thing that is not free is, is like I said, a Zevo Chrono. That's a hundred bits too. I love that one. I made this the other day, uh, the Chrono time. I, I absolutely love it. It's really, really good, I think. Are you uh, listening to the sermon? No, not really. I'm just praying that the boxes pick up. I don't even know who the guy, who, who the guy doing the shouting is. Okay, I'm sure we're well. We'll get the custom bonus back, Mom. Trust me, it will have lots of animals in the avatar. Yeah, the counter will be part full of good fresh meat, just like before. Are you having fat? Yeah. You're my favorite daughter. Oh, do I have any siblings? Oh, ah. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'll be right here. Alright, so let's have a look. That's cheese. Cheese. Sticker looks like a clock. Must represent that Time Lord's character. One that threatens you if you don't buy any cheese. Stupid story. Got oh, followers left candles here. Put into the granny the machine dispenser. Hey. Like it only works with money. Okay, up the top of the heads. And money. Yeah, now we do it. Eee. Now we do it. Make something fell into the slap of blow. Spence. Spencer has released a candle and it looks like it's made out of cheese. I put it in my bag. Candle made out of cheese, okay. Alright, done. Demon candle, you put a candle on. So, okay, we've done that. Look, mark these. Bought a candle on the wheel of cheese. Bought a candle to put on the wheel of cheese by the entrance. Excellent. I'm sure that. Look at his eyes. Hypnotized. I'm sure the Lord will be happy. You'll see how everything goes well for you from now on. He's even got on those speakers to make it louder. Go out? Okay, we can go out. <laughs> Say cheese! You get it? I'm looking at him posing there. <laughs> They're posing for photos. Certainly are. Photographer. He or she is really dressed up. Hello. Hello, beautiful. How are you? <laughs> oh, why did I do that voice then? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's a man or woman. Mm. I'm not sure if you're a man or woman. Yeah. You're not the first one to say that. <laughs> I'm a man. I've always been one. But you're wearing women's clothes. And you've got a woman's hairstyle. And you're wearing makeup. Why? Because I like it. That's why. <laughs> what? I can't wear a skirt because I'm a man. I can't wear lipstick because I'm a man. I can't sleep with other men because I'm a man. Uh, I didn't mean to upset you. It's cool that you do whatever you like. It was just strange seeing a man dressed as a woman. Don't worry, it's not your fault. Most likely, it's what they teach you at home and at school. Boys like blue, cars and video games. 
A girl's like pink, dolls and play in kitchens. Well, we don't talk much at all. I haven't seen my dad in ages. And I live in a room at the back of my mum's butcher's shop. That's messed up. <laughs> You've got a room at your butcher's? Yeah, the back room at the butcher's. It's like my bedroom. Although, although I suffer from insomnia, so I don't need a bed. I'm always there with my animals. Maybe I kill them and cut them into little pieces. So that my mum can sell the meat in the shop. Seriously? Are you too young to have a job killing animals? And you live in the room where you cut them up? Yeah, but I like it. I love animals. <laughs> I'm finished. This is so sick. I've been doing it. My mum gives me pocket money. Some meat every day. Are you having me on? Oh, are you work? Yes, well, you could say I saw meat too. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you're a winner. I don't even want to ask what meat. <laughs> Uh, oh really? Yes, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> oh God, say, uh, a prostitute? Sorry, but did you say you were a prostitute? Yeah, my friends and I work in the sex trade. I don't know what that means. Don't worry, you're still a bit young to understand. Just think of it as a business, just like any other. You said before that you work at the butchers, right? Yeah? Okay. People that need meat go to your shop to buy it, right? Well, we spell sells <laughs> We sell special affection to people that need it. Special affection? Yeah, well, Everness, grown up kisses, sex. You know what? Let's change the subject. <laughs> Weird job. You like it? Might seem a bit out there, but yeah, I do. Lots of people work in this business because they're forced to, or because they don't have any other way to earn money. But I guess I'm lucky. I like what I do. I'm good at it. Now I've got uh, to meet lots of nice and just interesting people. Although, that definitely isn't the norm in this line of work. Said sex is his job. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so you make a you make a, a living doing adult things. Yeah, but how about we talk about something else? I'm not comfortable talking about this with a little girl, especially one whose job is to slaughter animals. You look bored. We're waiting for a friend to finish her photo shoot. Hopefully she'll be quick. I'm starving. Is a wedding? Yes. Friend has been waiting her whole life for this moment. He wants to wear the white dress and get married in a church, have a crazy party, and then go as far as away as possible for the honeymoon. A while back she met a client that happened to give her all of that, and now she's here. They are newlyweds. Did you say she married a client? <laughs> he found a boyfriend at work. Yes. They met recently and fell in love. Well, he fell in love with her, and she fell in love with his wallet. <laughs> oh, dude. So, she isn't in love with him? Well, when you grow up, you'll realize that getting married can mean many, many things. Some do it for love, some others for money, some for a piece of paper, others for religious reasons. Don't you want to get married? Not right now. I can't be bothered. <laughs> anyway, the only part I like is the spread after the ceremony. Hopefully they'll finish the fossil soon and we can go and eat. Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, I've had enough of talk. I'm out. Okay, sweetie. Friends, he's having false takers. Okay, I'm, I'm pissed. Religious plus. What's that? Looks like an advert. It says, "Would you like to give the gift of happiness that you love 
You find it hard to start seeing your friends suffer. Do you need an excuse to start a war? Start your own religion by taking one of these courses. Come in and talk about us. No obligation. Go in there in a minute. We'll have a look around first. Wearing very strange clothes. Not even about dancing, but they seem to be good at it. Hello. What's up, buddy? I think we've met before. Yeah, you're Agatha, right? We go to the same school. Yeah, you're the ones that always dance at break time, right? You got it. Always go with, go with the flow. Wearing <coughs> some strange clothes. It doesn't look like comfortable clothing to dance in. I know, right? We're wearing this because we have our first communion today. And our mum's made us wear this. Communion? What's the first communion? Pretty freaky stuff, buddy. You're gonna give us a piece of some guy's body and then some of his blood. We have to eat it. Pretty disgusting. Why'd you have to do that? It's a religious festival. Can I just literally, like... It's a way of getting closer to God or something like that. It's supposed to make you happier, I think. I'm not sure. I really understand what it's all about anyway. Weird. Yeah, it's not like we have really something to do, but they told us that if we take the first communion, then we'd get a load of presents. And that sounds pretty cool. Taking the first communion. Why did they give you presents for taking the first communion? I think it's part of the celebration. Way of celebrating that we've eaten a piece of a pizza. <laughs> oh god. The game looks good, yeah, it's super funny. Family after this. I, I, I played this a long, long time ago. Um, or I even had Steam. Uh, apparently, yeah, after. The, uh, what was it? I don't know. I think it was. Apparently, after the celebration, will be. Uh, forever accompanied but on the inside by some guy and he'll guide us through life and uh, help us be happy but if you go to the toilet is that guy gonna leave good point i haven't thought about that anyway it doesn't really matter i want the presents oh, i've got something else to do i'm out of here hope it goes well uh now what we can go through there i am look around though first Gravestones covered in round a dent. They look like holes. Want to open up that pink bunny? I prefer to put open real bunnies. Is that Kenny McCormick? It is as well. Look, Kenny McCormick. Not South Park. One of the graves in the cemetery. That's Vito Colone, John Doe, Ellie Allen. Who's this? Mila's Tana. Brilliant. Oh, it was very deep re recently. But I, but what I understand is that when someone dies, their family puts them in a box and buries them, and then they put a stone on the top. It must be encased to turn into a zombie or something like that. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. There's a name and a tally marks. This gravestone. It's like someone's been trying to add <laughs> in Adam them up. Adam's family. <laughs> Did they bury the whole families in this grave too? This I I Karari Yui Yui? I don't know what that is. Must be the grave of someone from their family. Doesn't look too well. Oh, I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. What? I'm useless. Okay. Am I? What am I? Okay. That's enough of that. You make no sense. I'm out of here. Thanks, father. Bye, mother. To all the children. Congratulations. Kids. What did the boy start? Thank you, son. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't think he's quite right in there. <laughs> You're telling me? Yeah, and what are you doing? Living La Viva Loca here in the cemetery. What does it look like? <laughs> A boy 
why he insisted on coming here to talk to that lump of stone. I've already told him that it's just a stone and that his mum isn't here. But it's like talking to a brick wall. Gonna at the boy. What happened to your son? He's an idiot. After moving from school to school like 108 times already because he has problems fitting in. Anyway, you just need to take one look at him. He's a disaster. And that is why he's very dear. Before you called your wife's grave on a lump of stone, you said that she's not in the ground here. That's because it's true. She's not here. Where is she then? Soul has moved on to the other world. But I think you're talking about her body, so I'm going to explain. When my wife died, my stupid son wouldn't stop crying. And every day shouting for his mum to come back to him. Even even if it was just for one day, so we could save inside. So he could save inside one last memory. Since I got fed up with all the whimpering, so instead of fighting my wife, I got her corpse, bought a good act, and dismembered it. Oh, oh my god. Why it's stupid. Seriously? Did you really cut up your wife? Yeah, I cut up her corpse into small pieces and put them into a giant saucepan. Didn't he want to have one last memory of his mum to keep inside? Oh, he fought. So he ate his own mum. But what did you do? Made a fantastic soup. Oh my god. Oh, is that you? <laughs> you made a broth with your wife's, wife's corpse. That's right. It came out delicious. In an amazing fluorescent orange. On one hand, that surprises me. On the other hand, it makes sense. Hmm. Oh, the boy looks traumatized. I don't think your son liked the cannibal soup idea. And that's why he's up so upset. I just wanted him to stop whining. But it hasn't worked out the way I hoped. Yeah, do you think so, mate? Do you think cutting up your wife's dead body and uh, putting in a food processor and making the soup out of it is <laughs> really the right thing to do? God damn it. You like that son oh that was the best soup i've had in ages oh yeah do you know remember when you said you wanted a bit of your mum inside yeah yeah well now you have one. <laughs> oh, God. what do you mean dad well that's that soup is your mum <laughs> um, i dug her up i brought her home i hacked her into pieces i blended her up cooked her into soup and you just drank it Yeah, no wonder he looks ill. Oh. He's still an idiot at night and all he does is cry just like before. You have no idea what it's like to live with his pe <laughs> with this piece of human waste. God damn it. What he did with his wife is pretty strange, yeah. Hey, cutting up your wife's cup <coughs> and making a suit with it. It's pretty is an odd thing to do. I'm a butcher and I do similar things with animals. But I didn't know you could do the same thing with you uh, with people. Are you comparing my wife to a dirty pig? Hey, don't say that. I love my animals and I love my wife. And the fact that I made a soup with her remains is neither here nor there. When someone dies, their soul leaves this world and the only thing left is a lifeless corpse. Oh, really? Of course. Haven't they taught you that in school? Maybe they did. But I find it hard to concentrate in class. I've gotten some you know, so I'm always tired. Yeah, okay. I don't need your life story. What, like your life story that you just told us? You heard me. I love my wife very much. I love her. How come you say it like she's still here? Because she still exists. I just explained it to you. My wife's soul is in a better place. A place where she, a place where we all go when we die. When I die of old age, at, at the, or at this rate, when I end it all for having to put with this idiot, I'll be reunited with my wife in that new world, and we'll live there happily together forever. And how is this possible? Well, having read lots of books, I've come to that conclusion. Hmm, well, I'm not too sure. There's nothing to be unsure about. That's just how it is. End the story. Okay. Why are your hands clapped together like that? 
Why has he got gloves on as well? I've just realised he's got, like, gloves on as well. I'm gonna have to your hands. Nope. I don't like this because it gives me an air of sophistication. It makes some things difficult, like eating and whack my ass. But I manage alright. Let's do something. Okay, well, take it easy. Yeah, wouldn't want this party to end, would we? Hulu. That too must be special. Bigger than the others, and as a statue of a winged octopus. Pretty cool. Okay. Right, so the only thing we can do then is this door? More wooden house. Guessing that might be where you go confess, maybe. The hell's that Mavlin Manson? Small plate with a small triangle on it. Looks like a head of a reindeer with those eyes. He must suffer from somebody like me. Crazy stare, right? Bean blown in the jar. Bookcase with some books and files. These are books. Gold. Add in a big coin. Alright. Change makeup. Hello. <coughs> Little lady. Tell me, what's your name? Agrippa. And what brings you here, Agrippa? You came to chat with my mum. I wanted to know what this religion thing was all about. So I came along to look. Take a look. Excellent. Um, what do you think so far? Do you like what you see? I spoke to some people and they told me some strange stories. For example, an incident. An ancient couple at the church believed that buying cheese from the Reverend Bleak character and a guy called the Tower will forgive their sins and they'll be resurrected when they die. Also a guy who takes his wife's corpse, puts it up into pieces with an axe, and made a broth for his son just like it was like leftover chicken. And it didn't matter to him because he believed that his wife's soul was in a better world and that the body was nothing but an empty corpse. But some guys get ready for a weird party, although it looks like they're not too sure what they're doing or why they're doing it. You can't tell me they aren't interesting people. But, hey, we all here, we all find inspiration all around us. I find this your faith and religion. But it's something that, there's something I still don't really get. What is religion exactly? Well religion is <coughs> how do I explain it? Religion is usually based on the story of a particular character. A character sometimes called God establishes some principles to be followed so you can live in harmony with everyone else. Love, sacrifice, respect, death, resurrection, punishment and other similar things. There are lots of other different religions. But most share similar ideas. People that believe in a religion defend its principles. The reason that religion is a combination of ideas based on a faith. Ah, but what's faith? You can say that faith is blindly believing that something is true. So, someone that believes in a religion simply thinks that the ideas of that religion are true without checking to see if it makes any sense. You got it? No, I still don't get it. What's good about that? Well, there are people that need something to believe in to feel complete. Religion can fill that void easily and make people feel happy. Besides, People that invent a religion can use it to manipulate its followers, last them for money and other things, or other things if it if it's well run. You can see everyone wins. Well, that's interesting. But you really believe a story without asking themselves whether it's true? Well, we've already seen the proof. Elderly couple from the church believe that buying cheese will assure them a new life when they die. The other guy believes that when he dies, he'll be reunited with his wife in another world. Your answer. Uh, do you believe in a religion? <laughs> Me? No. I've studied many religions in detail. Uh, 
precisely because I wanted to understand their power. I think the stories on which they're based on are really entertaining, but most are full of contradictions. That said, I discovered that religion has almost infinite potential. I would have decided to start my own business with what I had learned. Plus, plus to specialise in creation of personalised religions. I want, to tell him, I want him to tell me about his courses, okay. What are these religious uh, creating courses all about? Well. Well then, someone had a problem. We come here, we talk it through, and then we get to work. The object. The objective is that the student is able to put together their own religion, uh, achieve followers, and as a result, resolve the problem. We will help the students by making sure they have all the necessary components to create a complete religion that will help them achieve their objective. So, anyone with a problem can start a religion, and that will solve all our problems. It doesn't matter what the problem is. It might be, or who it, who it has. We can always <coughs> create religion that adjusts to the needs of our client. The most important thing is that the religion is well developed, so that a particular group of people will believe blindly in it. For example, you hear people talking about that part system of achieving redemption through the purpose of cheese. All that is based on an invented religion. You don't say. Mr. Bleak was having trouble with his business <coughs> and he came to us looking for help. <coughs> so, it's an invented religion. Like all of them. Mr. Bleak has a business which produces and sells cheese. We had a bad year and didn't know what to do to recover his sales. Tell him about us. One of us mentors worked with him to create a new religion, the objective of improving sales. That's where the Bono Dairy religion and the story about travelling through time came from. If Reverend Black brings back cheese from his visit to Tamlord, but those faithfully to the Tamlord buy cheese from Reverend Bleak, they receive pardon for their sins. What's a sin? One does or thinks in that context then or survive religion. Said they, they, it said that they commit a sin. Ah, but Mr. Blake's story doesn't make any sense. Not when people don't believe in time travel or think that buying cheese makes it okay to do bad things. Do that because you still underestimate the power of religion. People that are fearful or doubtful will cling on to any story which makes them feel better. In brief, Mr. Bleak found a group of people that were in need of some believing and used that opportunity to bring them closer to his religion. And now, thanks to our course, Mr. Bleak's cheese business is booming. Ah, so that's what we need to do for our meat business then, isn't it? Make, make our own meat religion. Yeah, there you go. I could create my own religion to solve my problems. Yes, we could. But with my own religion, I could solve my problems. Of course, exactly what I'm saying. Perhaps there's something we can help you with. Well, uh, maybe. At my mum's butchers, where I kill pigs, rabbits, and other animals, cut them up into pieces and prepare the meat for sale. That's unusual. Yeah, I know, everyone tells me that. That's child exploitation. A young girl shouldn't be doing that. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, don't worry about it. I like the animals. You like the animals, or you like killing them? I like being with the animals while they're alive and eating them when they're dead. I love meat. <laughs> what I don't like is when they get scared. What I don't like is when they get scared of me when I approach them with my knives. I need to do my job, but if it makes me feel really sad, that's my problem. Ah, and another thing. Lately, we've not had many customers in the shop, and my mum says if the, if things don't get better, we'll have to close. If that happens, I won't have the animals or the meat. Anyway, what you said, maybe you can help me create a religion like the cheese one. We can get lots of customers in the butchers, and the animals are not afraid of me. Thinking. It's 
an interesting case, that's for sure. Ah. Huh. Yes. Yes, I think we can solve your problems. Really? We're going to need a religion that's slightly more complex than usual. But that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to assign my best mentor to your case. One that specializes in the strange and difficult cases like yours. You should know I don't have much money. Don't think I can pay for your best mentor. Don't worry. We'll make an exception for you. We'll use it as an opportunity to demonstrate that we can provide a solution to main situations like yours. I'm gonna sign up for it. Convincing my animals will be a challenge. I've got nothing to lose, so let's do this. I'll, I want to create my own religion. I want to join the course. Great, won't regret it. Promise. Let's fill in this form with your details. Give me your full name. Knife or knife? Uh, the second one, I think. Knife and there's a knife and fork? Yeah, I think so. Well, it suits you. Where'd you live? At my house, I guess. <laughs> okay, but I need you to tell me the address. I don't know it. Although, now I think of it, where I really live is at the butcher's. The butcher's knife is the only butcher's in town. I'm always there when I'm not at school, of course. Problem. Sure, you don't want me to report your mother to the pharmacies? No, I already told you I'm cool with it. Okay, as you wish. Now, I need you to tell me your age. Was that, was that, was that nine? I think it was nine, wasn't I? Uh, nine? Nine, I thought you were younger. The illnesses or allergies? Somewhere, yeah, but I'm not sure if that's an illness. Uh, okay, I'll just write it down just in case. What's your name? I can't remember how old she was. Do you drink, smoke, or take drugs? I like the smell of blood. <laughs> Does the smell of blood count as a drug? I really like it. Uh, no, I don't think that counts. Uh, why, do, why do you need to know that? Don't worry, that information isn't necessary for the course. It's just for legal reasons. It's ridiculous, I know. Anyway. No drugs, that's good. <laughs> Nearly finished, just one more thing. Telephone number? I don't have a phone. They can you give you the number for the butchers? No, that's no use. Find the email. No. Okay, we'll get in touch with you by special means. I'll leave a note for the mental, so he knows. Oh, that's it, all done. Take this phone and give it to your mentor in the confessional at the moment. Well, a little wooden foot in the hallway over there. We'll talk to him and I'll let you know what you do next. Anything else you'd like to know? Okay, I hope you enjoyed the course. I know you'll be able to create a fantastic religion. or will solve your problems with having the animals and the butchers. Yeah, how much fun creating a religion can be. Think. <laughs> yes, and it's there. That's there. Okay. There. Oh. There. Shh. Don't shout. What do you want? Put my name down on the course for creating religions. And over there told me to talk to you. You got the registration form? Yes. Very good. Leave it in the tray. Put the form in the tray. <coughs> okay, let's see. Oh, like a fair young butcher with insomnia. Want to create a religion that will help bring us back to your store. And I'm most happy while you come up with your name. They bleed to death. Is that correct? Pretty much. Ah, oh, an interesting case and a challenge, that's for sure. I like it. Okay, let me have a think about it. I put together a list of things for me to do create a religion that fits your needs. I'm not sure how long planning process will take. No need for you to wait around. Go home, 
and as you've got everything ready, I'll contact you. Ah, oh, one thing that's important. At the moment, don't tell anyone about what we're planning here. One gets a wind of all this. It won't leave in your village and I won't be a, of any use. So don't say anything to anyone. I tell you, okay? Okay. That, that. I don't want you to do anything else. Not for the moment. So when I when I thought through all the steps we'll need to take. Okay, until then. Bye. Hope this works out. Anyway, let's go home. Okay, let's go home. Okay, so that's the first actual level of this game. Quite a big level really, but we were only really talking. Spoon. I got some spoon. <laughs> Bam. I'm about to change the name. It's like it literally looks like the same tin as well. Oh, there's some spoon. Looks like any other day without the customers here. Yeah? I wouldn't go in there as well. I mean, look at all the flies on the meat. Like, mmm, tasty fresh meat. Oh, going to church wasn't uh, useful and thing was was useful and, and things pick up. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm sure things will get better soon. Ah, uh, whatever you say, Agrafe. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's time to prepare for our last pig. You deal with it. Probably won't sell any of the meat. Well, at least we'll have something else on the counter should anyone come in. Okay, I'll deal with it. Thanks. It's going bad because no one come in to buy it. A disaster. It with flies all over it. Gross. Nice. And the reason why everyone stopped coming, why did not anyone come anymore? My dear, I'll get fed. <coughs> you know? Better than anyone that our meat has always been in our uh, premium quality. Can't put the prices down any further. <laughs> Excuse me, if we don't get any put customers through the doors, we won't be able to pay the bills. Buy any more animals to have meat to sell. But we've only got one pig left. No, the customers don't go want to close the shop. We won't need any more animals. Buy our we found solutions first. back room but what's going on awesome andro a weed <laughs> i'm just saying that straight away loads of garlic spices yeah spices and different colored concoctions maybe this guy is a cook yeah okay but oh, oh, spices yeah okay there it is also of the awesome Sandro. Oh not Andro, it's Sandro. It's my prepared jars in it. Oh, one of the jobs I've heard some strange powders in them. The ball. I don't really know how I got here. Hello. Hello Alcafe. Welcome. Have we met before? How do you know my name? No, because I am. Oh, 
awesome Sandro. Sandro, the awesome master. Deviations? <laughs> you, my friends, awesome Sandro. Never heard of you. I'm your mentor. I'm going to help you create your own religion. Oh, well, that was you in a little wooden house. Yes. Oh, that was quick. But it was take longer for us to meet. Anyway, when did I get here? Where are we? My control center. Uh, give in depth personalized advice. May I receive an on date to all of my students? Given that you don't have a telephone number or an email, help me to get in touch with you using special means. I teleported you here. Teleported me here? How did you do that? Are you a magician too? I already told you. Ah. Uh, Banjo the awesome master of the United Nations. Yeah, I got it. What does that mean? Are you a magician or not? Pretty much. In addition to being an expert in teleportation, I can tell the future. My specialities are Avatar Nations, Avatar Cards, Vapa Nation, and Flaming Shatter Nation. What the hell? And all the other Demon Nations you could ever think of. I'm the master of all Demon Nations because I am. Awesome, Sandro. Yeah, I got it. But what are those Demon Nations? They're a metaphysical technique, techniques, or magical arts that used to be. You know, that I used to see the future. Ah, what's that got to do with religion? Great deal, because just like religion, magic is based on faith. In the end, all that matters is the people believe in it. You will be. Trust me. You get to work on carnivalism. That's why you're here after all. Carnivalism? Yes, carnivalism. That would be the name of your new religion that you like to eat. In your budget, like your problems are related to those things. Who I thought carnivalism would be an ideal name for your religion. What do you think? That sounds good. What does carnivalism involve? Well, all religions are based on a perfect line, able to transfer fear into faith, but develop each of the necessary components to create that perfect line. Eh? You're gonna help me, aren't you? <coughs> yeah, of course. Give you guidance wherever you need it. That's why I have a fabulous, I have my fabulous deck of cards. Awesome. What do you need the deck of cards for? And I know I ask a lot of questions. Because there are lots of things about religion and faith I don't understand yet. Don't worry. When we rest through the course, you'll become an expert. Learning to the subject at hand. Uh, and you don't know what to do, I'm saying the component you're searching for. I mean, no. And we'll see what the cards say. The cards will show us something that will help us move forward. For example, this thing carnivalism needs is God. Um, before you ask, God is a superior, imaginary, and powerful being. God is one in charge of a religion, so we need one. Because we have God, the followers of carnivalism, do what he says. Although, in reality, it will be what you say we can worry about that later. Where can I find the cards? It's for precisely that reason that we have the cards that goes the way. Let's see what they say. That will be difficult. Excellent. Take this ball. Look <laughs> with animal blood and bring it back to me. With the blood, we'll be able to create the god of carnivalism. Don't need anything else. With the blood, we'll be able to create gods. We'll be about bringing me the bottle full, full of blood, and when you will see. Okay, but get back to the butchers. Sure, if you leave through the door, you'll be going there directly. I'll take care of bringing you back once you go. 
she got animal blood. Okay. See you in the gas. Yeah. Okay, so we get cannibal uh, blood because we need to kill a pig now. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's just thick. Oh my god, no. The face, the face. I like how you got a piggy bank there as well. Oh, it worked. I'm back at the butchers. Amazing. I put my money in my mum gives me for working here. I told her that she doesn't need to pay me, but it makes me feel happier, so I just take it. I went handy. We need something to smash the piggy bank with first. Around the bucket, I used to collect the blood when chopping up the animals. Like, I was just looking at me, like, oh my god. Be nice and sharpening my work tools. We got my butcher I don't really need the sharpener. The last pig, I enjoyed this company. Time has come. I will get some new animals soon, or I'll be really lonely. Here's where all the balls went to slice up in my animals. Some kind of hammer for the piggy bank. I mean, to the horse, it feels a bit, but super it is relaxing. That's what the card says. I just swapped my magic spices to blood, and they created an awesome elixir with my magic cocktail skills. Ah, yes. Now you have to drink the bottle, don't drink it all though. You can speak when the potion starts, they can fit. I'll explain the rest. He's pretty good. Oh. oh, yeah, they were tour thousands of hotels. Now everyone can try my magnificent cocktails and and draw. I'm not, I'm not interested in your stories. Not rude. Yeah, but what do we do now? How long does it take for the potion to take effect? 
how long? Yeah, well, wow. Well. <coughs> a little bit more. What's there? Okay, let's begin. see you right now. I can't wait for it much, I can't fear herbal anything. In your mind, I can feel. Use my special powers to connect to your dominant imagination. Your reality. In other words, you are not get through your own imagination. And if you think goes well, you must have carnival of and people up here. At least, that's what the card says. But I can tell you that you're starting to trust me. That's the spirit. I don't see that I have a choice. Well, I guess I can with that. Anyway, can you tell me what you see around you right now? It's literally dark. The thing that I can see is that I'm standing in the puddle of blood. Else? Anyone there with you? I don't think so. A shadow, I think it's one of some function. Huge. Oh, giant pig. Pig. Oh, makes sense. Oh, giant pig. Yes, that's big. And what's your name? You. Okay, hang on a minute. It's Andro, tell me. Found the god of carnivorism, really? Yeah, it's a giant pig, called a great bleeding pig. Called a great bleeding pig. Wait, he wants. Tell me something else. Something that can happen. I like it, red too. Yeah, red. Red, red, the god of carnivalism. All we always say is, say goodbye and we'll earn all this connection. Alright. That's just a very emotional law. Even possible. Sad. Do you listen to me, Agatha? I'm back right now. Give us time. Oh, need to bring her back before it's too late. What do I do? Need to get in. Wait, where are you going? Ready so soon? The need to help. Hey, what I said I wanted to go in. Please don't go. Quick bleeding pig. Quick bleeding pig. Let's get in to do for me dormant imagination. Hmm. Why did you at me? I was hanging out with a bleeding pig. Oh, I can find a great way to make this test. What do you mean is a test? In real survey, I'll be. You created a great bleeding pig with your imagination, based on all of the dormant thoughts in your mind. With the help of my offspring, tell of course. Gone. Um, wait on for all this to work. At last, it's obvious that it exists. No matter what, you must remember that the great bleeding pig is. Tool that 
kind of a piece of the kind of obvious puzzle. Yeah. I made up God for a made up religion, okay? Yeah, we'll get along really well. Yeah, I understand. We believe the pig doesn't exist. I intervened. I invented him. I invented him. Uh, <coughs> but I can use him to as other kind of events. Don't worry about that at the moment. But before I get, what were you in a great bleed pig talking about? Right, I don't know if it was real. It wasn't real, but maybe you can. But maybe what you can, what you were talking about is like be useful as well. I know quite well. He told me that he really likes sausages. That he likes rare meat just like me. But he mentioned that he shoots out. Uh, he has everything that I need to solve my, my problems. And what does that, uh, what does that, uh, exactly mean? Mean exactly? I don't know. As he was going to explain, he disconnected me from your fire rescue group. I was talking to you and you didn't respond. If I hadn't disconnected you on time, would have been forever trapped in your own imagination. Ah, uh, in that case, thanks. Problem. I wish I'd uh, drink more of the potion of Paul. And the way I speak to the great spirit, need a pig again. Not a good idea, it's too soon. We leave more time between journeys into your dominant imagination. Ah, uh, anyway, doesn't matter. No, we're fine in the next part of the panel. God, now we need book. That book was a good one, that's it. I don't know if it makes sense at least. What our principles are? Get your hands on the book. What about the book? Uh, those pages, that is. Does that even exist? A bunch of blank pages? I don't know. That's the you have to look one. Find one. If you can find one, uh, you can make one yourself. Okay, I think uh, I'll have to pick something. Uh, I've got to take a look around and I'll see what I can find. Uh, by the way, if we were talking about the secret book of cannibalism, perhaps the book should be read. I like it. A book with lots of blank pages and a red cover, and when you have it, we'll write the principles of your new religion. We'll have a look. Uh, what was that? We'll have a book of cannibalism, and we'll be one step closer to solving your problems. Ah, I'll get one with it then. But remember that if you need help, just contact the cards. Okay, first, what can I do? Seriously tired. Well, I can feel my eyes dropping, guys. In a wake all day. Well, Oh, 
Hatch. Move that name to put a sub comic to do.
That's why it's in a glass case. Ah. Eat. You're not fat now, not so you can eat while you. Of course not. Why would you think that? I'm gonna miss treats. It's been a while since I've had them.
Oh, put a bit crap in there. I bet, yeah, that's what happens when you're fat as I am. Quite a lot of music, but what? Right. My friend is playing a lot of music, like being the money. But it's not always like that. You ever play the fat cat? Fat, fat black cat with a lot of me. No. Playing our wigs, it's always happening to you. It's just bad to take it, you can buy one off of you. said if you want a better chance of winning then you'll need to buy more tickets and that and then that's that think about it first before you spend your money because like i said you can only do it once do i need to decide now ah uh, no you can do it now or later blue the black fat black car is going to hurt oh god we need to turn this heating off i'm literally passing out in here hello when if you can hear if you can hear me you need to turn the heating off i'm literally passing out Has all go or go on a diet in prison. They say that we are fit because, because of our lifestyle is a bad example to children. Uh, we're really expensive for the healthcare system. Take up too much room. Contribute to global warming and don't smell great. And so, as a punishment, they put us in this unit. They make us sell flat black cat lottery tickets. Our dying day. Oh, anyway, it's not so bad. Those of us are also bold and hairy are classified as being highly risky obese. They sentenced us to death because they are just dangerous. Ah, I feel sorry for you. A little though. Oh, yeah, fine. I'll be watching them walk by and never be able to do that again because I, never, I won't ever, ever leave this box. Well, for the imprison me, I Fuck anyway, I just rolls. We did have some doors. Those are those houses to go in then. But taking notes might be the boss. Hello man in the suit. Oh girl with bags under her eyes. Like the boss. Are you the boss? No, oh, the boss is the guy over there eating the sandwich. He's the one in charge. Boss, you're, uh, if you're not the boss, why are you dressed like that? So I don't get yeah, pills as a tan. That's not a good look. Uh, are you going to build something? Yeah, but first we're going to tear down the library. We'll pull the building down and clean everything up. We'll cover it with tarmac and turn it into a car park. But, no cars in this town. Why are you building the car park? No idea. The boss says we'll make a stack of money, so I just got on with it. Well, if you don't mind, I need to keep on taking off. Goodbye. Are you looking for something? That's a Chisavo sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, what off it? I just have a well I'm gonna ask him to buy you some another man. Are you mad? Why don't you go away and let me eat in peace? Let that man. Oh come. Really? Why are you still here? Get out of here and let me work in peace. Yes. Oh, I think. Go 
got way too much hair on your arms and belly. You're like a bear, except that bears are pretty and you're ugly. You've got and you've got eyes like a corpse and your hair looks like you're literally got out of bed. Oh, I'm not giving you a sandwich, so give a boy anyhow. Sandwich, that's one. No, you, because you're not a nice person. Don't say to eat something so good as a sandwich. Oh, girl. I prepare all day every day so I can eat sandwiches like this one. So stop having your dick and get out of here. Get lost. I hope he jumps on it. I really dislike him. He seems to be giving a bad time. But I'm not going to do it. Andrew's asked me to get a big fat book. Black pages in the red cover, so we're gonna go do that. Right, so we still need to do that. Right, so we got Jacob's down there. Let's go back to these houses, the doors. We got a door there, we had a few up here, didn't we? Oh, we might, okay, we keep hold of it. We had a few doors over here, didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't we? TV, she sinks into the sofa and disconnects from the world. Looks to me as if you're enjoying it too. Well, you know, I want to watch them, but they're like a hard drug. You want, if you start watching one, that's it. It's no escape. Good job I bought enough needs for the whole afternoon. Careful, it's really dangerous. If I was you, I'd stop watching before it's too late. But I said at the beginning, but well, here I am. Well, at least I can still speak. Not like Miss Allen, she's definitely lost. Anyway, whatever I didn't. Anyway, whatever I didn't come here to watch the TV. Nikki, yeah, yeah, she's upstairs in the room, resting around with things like every afternoon. Hey, thanks. We hope we get away from our TV before we're trapped here. Good to see you, Dick's watch TV. It's enough TV and she's telling you, mate. Stay at shock. Don't do that right now. Anyway, this was cool. He doesn't deserve to die. Leave the TV alone. Won't bother. He's in the room, not in the kitchen.
Okay. Hey, I got fur. Oh, you got the butchers. Well, I wanted to get some fresh air. I was passing by your house, so I thought it'd be cool to come say hi. Is that it? Come on. It looks like you want to ask me something. Maybe she can help me with a secret book. Kind of a lot of books, right? Yeah, I'd love to read. Only fun books. One's about mechanics, electronics, and technology. Best to no use to anyone. Do you have a blank book? Blank book? Do you mean a notebook? No, a book. Uh, a fat one with all the pages, all of them blank, and the cover needs to be read. Well, no, why would I have a blank book? That would be pretty stupid, I guess, but I need one for something. There are some history books that are boring and I don't want them. All those are pages, do you want them? I'll give them to you. No, thank you. I'll keep looking. I'm always helping. What are you doing? I'm working on a project for school. Well, it's for school, especially for the director and my teacher. But it's also a project for my parents and my brother. Everyone that goes on the TV says stupid things, those tacky things, repetitive uh, video games, programs that obsolescence and strip screws, those and loads of other things. What's the project about? I'll tell you. My secret. I have to speak to your mum, but she doesn't say anything. She's watching TV, right? Don't even bother. The woman is a mess. Her brain's all shriveled up. Uh, I'll leave you in the Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's not super awesome machine. But what you want. Anyway, see you later. Flyers from the library copy shop. Off the moon. 
I'm not surprised. She's always trying to buy pops. Excuse me. Looking for a book with blank pages, you have one in the library. Uh, library provides a computer. Oh, it's readers can make that kind of inquiry. Readers tell cards to go to the first floor and make the info for a search. Red library in the car park. Built in this place, yeah. Uh, yes, we're up there to speed on that. We inform the world, but general education, all our questions, however. Support. We have the support of the corporation as much as we are extremely confident that the library as it is and in our community with the knowledge that our box have to offer. Hang on. Ah, boy, you can just, uh, just 
he most definitely has a better memory than me. And I'm sure it'll help you find what you're looking for. Okay, I'll see what you'll be looking for. By the way, why do you need a black book? I don't need a business. Thanks for joining in the stream tonight. I will sort out the uh, the, the the view of attack thing. I don't know why that wasn't working. Uh, thanks for cashlessness, uh, Elowen, um, Lizzy for be subbing as well for the three months. Much appreciated. And I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, so yeah, because we got to go super early in the morning. I got lots of stuff to do as well. Anyway, we done. For the night, uh, have a nice uh, morning, have a nice night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye now.